Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and Wizards is actually surprising everybody by releasing another secret lair. Now, you might think on the surface, oh, there's another secret lair. Of course they're doing it. I haven't done that for a while. Why are you surprised at this point? They're greedy. And some type of people must still be buying these, but uh, the whole, you know, delay of the last couple, the multiple delays, like the multiple weeks of delays, the fact that some are still missing, and then we've got the uh, U.S. Postal Service disruptions, don't forget that. I'm surprised they're doing it specifically now. I mean, yeah, the lockdowns have lightened up a little bit in a lot of places. I don't know necessarily where they're making this, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they have them all in hand and they're just going to sell down to what they have. I mean, uh, I haven't actually read this yet, but yeah, it's a secret lair prime slime. Hey, prime slime. That's probably what they're going to call the operation when uh, Congress absolutely stomps on Amazon for their prime anti-competitive monopoly abuse nonsense. Anyway, yeah, they're saying Wizards of Barge, I don't know what that is, brewed up a batch of super sick slimes that just ooze coolness and also ooze ooze. God, who wrote this? Blake Rasmussen? Uh, get ready to open your mind to slimes. No, I'm not getting ready for anything because I'm not buying this. You put meme references or cats on it, I might think about it, all right? You, like, you got me down, figured out at that point as a customer. But this, I mean, I'm not that into that art style. I think it's kind of cool, but not cool enough to buy it. Um, this one appears to contain, um, oh, wow, I clicked on the picture to make it bigger so that I could just see a bigger preview of the picture in my browser and see what cards are included. And they put me in line in their queuing system and won't let me see the image. So I, I have to wait in line to see what the cards are, to see if I want to buy them. Are you out of your damn minds, wizards? This is pure marketing psychological manipulation too, by the way. So you're like, oh, whatever, okay, I'm in line, okay, whatever, I still want to see it, I go dick around on my phone for, oh, now I'm there, oh, but my place in line, oh, well, I better buy it. I mean, maybe it'll not be there next time I'm there, which it will be. So I, um, well, I'm not, I'm not going to say that, but let's just say I'm looking at the product page now without waiting in line. I'll let you fill in the blanks there. Uh, it says estimated ship date 15th of October through 30th of November. That's a 45 day window. Just the ship date, not the arrival date, the ship date. They have no idea when these will be printed. None whatsoever. That's a 45 day window to get them printed and dropped into the mail. What the hell? So the sale is live now and it's good until uh, like two days from now, like the 19th at 11 a.m. their time. Don't buy this. If you even receive it at all, or even vaguely on time, it'll probably be misprinted or be missing half the cards or have duplicates. Or just don't support anything Wizards is doing lately with paper. It's all garbage. Spend the money at your local gaming store instead. How about that? Or screw magic cards completely by preparedness supplies for any kind of upcoming urgent or emergency situation. So the cards are uh, Acidic Slime, the Mimeoplasm, uh, Necrotic Ooze, Scavenging Ooze, of course, and Void Slime. Ooh, Void Slime. I mean, I don't absolutely love Void Slime, but it was unique at the time it was printed. So Acidic Slime, first one, that's a 25 cent corset reprint staple that's about as boring as a manila envelope nailed to a beige wall. However, that manila envelope does destroy target artifact enchantment or land. Oh look, it does green things and has death touch. Who cares? It's a 2-2 two, two for 5 and it doesn't get bigger. Th this thing's unplayable. I legitimately probably would overlook this for an Ooze Tribal deck. Uh, they usually put this in core sets, like I said, but also commander decks so that you have a card that you don't feel bad about taking out. Next up, we've got the Mimeoplasm. Uh, that was actually in the very first commander set. Uh, that's kind of cool. And it was only ever in then, obviously, Commander Anthology Volume 2 and Commander's Arsenal. And that's it. So it's actually about a $4 card. Still kind of a, you know, crap value for Secret Lair, but whatever. So, uh, as it enters the battlefield, you may exile two creature cards from your graveyard. If you do, it enters the battlefield as a copy of one of those cards with a number of additional 1-1 counters on it equal to the power of the other card. That is just plain interesting right there. Unfortunately, the usefulness of this card is stupidly narrow because it's a three-color green-blue-black card. I mean, there are more direct about the same CMC or lower ways to just resurrect something from your graveyard and make it gigantic. There's really nothing particularly special about this card. Next up, we have an ooze that was only ever printed in Scars of Mirrodin. It's Necrotic Ooze. Uh, it's a 4-drop, four 4-3. Four it's currently $3, despite being a rare, so obviously not the best card. But as long as it is on the battlefield, it has all activated abilities of all creature cards in all graveyards. But not triggered abilities, and not static abilities. So it does things. I mean, honestly, that effect would be more suited to, like, a high-level, you know high cost like arc mage you know blue wizard kind of thing but whatever they made it a news so i guess kind of interesting card but it was double black so you can't really color mix it all that well i don't know it's it's not great
Then we've got the absolutely printed to death corset and commander staple scavenger ooze. Um, every time they print it, it's worth a little bit, but uh, now that it's literally in corset 2021, just a little reminder there for you, uh, it's $1.50. So, yikes. There's a corset 2021 borderless variant version. What the hell is that? Do I just not remember them having those? And uh, even that one with full alternate art is $2.29 currently on card kingdom probably lower on ebay so another just terrible choice but uh it's a two two for two you pay one and then uh, you don't even have to tap it or nothing it's just pay one uh one green xl target card from a graveyard if it was a creature card put a one one counter on uh, scavenger goose and you gain one life it is an amazingly good card with unfortunately an amazingly bad value because it's so good they kept printing it until it's worthless but uh you know that's fine i like card affordability you know better than really anything else so lastly, we have Void Slime. Uh, it was in Dissension. It was in uh, Ravnica Allegiance Guild Kits. Really? And then there was a promotional extended art version, which is worth a fortune. That thing's 50 bucks. But uh, yeah, the Dissension one, or I should say the Ravnica Allegiance one, which is a little bit cheaper, is uh, sitting at six bucks. So the cumulative value of this is terrible. I mean, terrible. Even considering the alternate art, special, whatever, you know, all matchy-matchy, all this, it, you'd be very 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 lucky to get your money out of this like ever split apart sealed trade in trade binder any anyway you should not buy this i literally didn't even look how much it costs and i'm still coming to the conclusion that you should not buy this the card value choices are terrible all right i just looked up the price it's even worse than i thought 29.99 damn Oh, and I just figured out the earlier comment they made. Uh, the Wizard of Barge, or Barg, or whatever it is, is the uh, artist who drew these. They're actually credited on the card as that title. So who or what is Wizard of Barge? Well, <laughs> Wikipedia, Google, and their own website are absolutely no help whatsoever in me answering that question. Thanks, guys. So allegedly it's some guy named Dakota Cates, but then allegedly it's also like a studio, so it could be multiple people. Like it might be this guy named Lance. Uh, I think he was responsible for some of the cuphead art or something. So I don't know. I mean, if wizards isn't going to just like tell me, Hey, we chose this as our artist because they've also worked on this and this there, or you might know them from this and this. Then if five minutes of me researching, it comes up with dead ass, nothing other than more questions. Well, then they really screw up the announcement. Speaking of screwing up the announcement, they didn't announce this at all. Actually come to think of it. It's not on daily MTG at all. I, I don't think they even tweeted about this. Well, I mean, I think they made a secret letter Twitter account that probably mentioned it, but like, this is like the most hush hush launch I've ever seen. I don't know if they're counting on us to, well, I mean, I cover everything, but, uh, if they're counting on the community to like cover this because, Oh, did you guys know that this came out of nowhere? Oh, well, there's this secret thing. I know this information you don't. So I'm going to tell you, aren't I special? That is a marketing technique. It can backfire spectacularly. And like I said, I'm going to cover anything they do or say to release, and, and like review it and give my actual thoughts on it, not, you know, shill for them or accidentally market for them. I, I just, anything that happens, I make a video on it, you know? So don't say I'm participating in it, AKA falling for this marketing trick. I mean, how many times in this video have I told you literally don't buy this? Like, it's like the theme of this video. It's worthless. It's terrible. It's a bad product. It's a bad idea. You're not going to get it on time or at all. The misprint quantity is enormous and they're trying to bankrupt your local gaming store by taking all your money directly. So um, don't buy this. So the uh, description here is, uh, sick of being early game enemies or confined to cubes, these slimes are breaking the mold. Uh, though you can see right through them, Wizard of Barge knows that their j jiggly jelly bodies contain multitudes. Uh, allow him to take you on an ooze cruise through five different cards that explore the true nature of slimes. Just like bring a towel or wet naps or something. Th they really let Blake write this, didn't they? So, I mean, just... Purely from a number standpoint, I think this is the least valuable, worst one they've made. I really do kind of think the art style is, like, really cool. But, like I said earlier, I can't help but feel like they totally ripped off Adventure Time. I might have edited that part out, so maybe I didn't say it before, but I'm saying it now. I mean, it's not like this style of drawing doesn't predate the show, but, you know, just saying. Well, this is Wizard of Barge guy uh, has some actual talent, which is not how I would describe uh, some of the past Secret Lair art. I'm yet to purchase any of these, even a single card from them. I don't think I've even seen any of these in person. I, I think Secret Lair was a mistake. It was a dumb, bad idea. It's just more greedy crap. Like, it's collector stuff that you don't need to play the game, so take it or leave it. I don't care. It's just I start to care when Wizard takes money out of the pocket of paying customers that would otherwise spend their limited amount of money 
partially at a local gaming store on Magic Products. I mean, they keep, like, saying they need gaming stores and want paper to continue and all that, and then doing the opposite and trying to do stuff that, like, kills the local gaming stores. So, not smart. So, unless you absolutely love the artist or love this art style, there is just no reason whatsoever to buy this. And even if you do, like I said, you'll be lucky if it shows up this century and in one piece with the correct cards and without printing defects. The reasons not to buy this are truly enormous. So, uh, I mean... Just want to let people know it's happening again so that you can yell at wizards about it. I don't know. I don't care. So I'm going to go do something more productive than covering or talking about this nonsense. I'm, I'm going to go get absolutely trashed on Benadryl because my allergies are tripping today and then go try and catch Pokemon and probably get stopped by the police. Some Karen be like, there is a clearly inebriated man out there with two cell phones in his hand for some reason dressed like he's homeless in like a 10 year old torn up fucking it's laundry day level shirt. I think he's talking to himself about Pokemon. Somebody called 911. So if you want to help me post bail, uh, there is a Patreon link in the description. And uh, that is how you get onto my ultra awesome dank Discord server of Mimitude, which contains at least four other pictures of Unzipping's adorable cats. I mean, that's worth a dollar right there. I'll see you guys next video.